I really enjoy frame-based animations for voxel models. They just look so unique. Recently, I started messing around with point clouds in Unity's visual effects graph and wanted to try importing the animations directly from Magic of Voxel into Unity. Hi, I'm BGK of Pear Tree Games, and this is creating an animated point cloud in Unity. Magic of Voxel is able to export a point cloud apply file format However, each animation frame needs to be exported separately, which would be time consuming and difficult to keep track of all of the animations and frames. Instead, we'll be creating a scripted importer, which will generate a scriptable object based on a box file, with each frame being converted into two textures. To start, I'll import a local package I've already set up. With that, we'll make a scriptable object to hold our frames. Then we'll start on our scripted importer. A class to keep our voxel data is going to be useful in the importer, so we'll make one now with position and color index values. This matches the binary file format Magic of Voxel uses in their XYZI chunk. You can find the binary format definition on GitHub, which looks like this. We'll want our reader to seek through and find the relevant chunks to make sure we have a proper format. If so, we'll return true. Otherwise, we'll keep searching or reset our position if we've hit the end of the file.
Once we've got all our points and color indexes, we'll grab all of the colors from the palette. Now we can create our scriptable object and fill out the frame data by generating textures for our positions and colors. We'll remove everything from our visual effects graph and start fresh. Then we'll create a constant spawn. We'll then initialize our particles with a bit of bounds, a random size, a random lifetime, a position for our texture, and same with the color. Now in update, we'll add gravity and a bit of turbulence.
Finally, we'll output to a quad with size and orienting to the camera plane. A lot of these values we'll want to change per game object and update at runtime, so I'll add them to our blackboard and hook them up. I'm going to brighten up the particles with a multiply color from gradient. But just note that you can't add the node directly as is. You need to make a add color random from gradient, then change the settings to multiply. All right, let's work on our animation. Our point cloud animator will have a list of animations and it'll simply update the frame based on our speed value and set the position and color textures. We can play around with some of our settings to get a better visual of the deer. And maybe we'll add a little point cloud forest for our deer to add a bit to the scene. And there we go. One major thing I've left out and will probably come back to at some point is Magic of Oxal files with multiple models and frames. The extended file text explains the binary format, which includes a graph of the transforms, groups, and shapes, 
but it's much more complicated for this video and I haven't fully decided how I want to represent it in Unity. But I hope this was interesting or useful for now, and thanks for watching.